Hi friends, uh, today we will be talking or discussing about the uh, working of a hydraulic master cylinder. Um, in an automobile uh, which employs a hydraulic uh, braking system, uh, this is very relevant. So I have drawn a um, master cylinder over here and let's see how it works. And uh, we have a master cylinder over here. So we'll open it up and see which are the internal components of a master cylinder and how it actually works. So let's go to the theory part first and uh, so this is the master cylinder over here it is uh, marked in uh, green over here the internal components we have a plunger inside it and we have a spring over here we have a valve stem we have seals over here and uh, this is the whole unit and we have two ports one is connected towards the reservoir which will be filled with hydraulic oil uh, or, or the fluid and uh, the other end is connected towards the brake piston housing so let's see how it uh, works so here we have a master cylinder so this is actually the master cylinder over here so we have this rod over here which is connected uh, with some other external connections towards uh, the brake pedal so as we uh, exert pressure on the brake pedal it is uh, directly acting towards uh, this particular rod through other connections so what happens is that it exerts the pressure inside that means a pressure is acting uh, in this direction inside towards uh, the master cylinder so which leads this uh, rod to move inside as we push uh, or exert pressure on this pedal which will result in this plunger to move as this plunger moves it is connected through a spring with a, uh, uh, a spring and a valve stem uh, towards the piston at its end and uh, as it moves inside gradually what happens is that there is a reservoir port over here which connects uh, towards the end of uh, the bore of the master cylinder so when it moves uh, towards the end uh, the piston uh, the seals over the end at this uh, wire stem closes the reservoir connection towards the master cylinder so that connection gets cut uh, so after further when the plunger moves the pressure develops inside this cavity uh, in this area so the fluid uh, gets pressurized and uh, that fluid that pressure is uh, directly uh, transmitted through this port towards the brake piston housing so the brake piston uh, as the pressure reaches the brake piston pressurizes the brake piston and uh, makes it move and uh, resulting in the application of the brake so that's actually how a brake happens when we uh, press a hydraulic master cylinder the pedal moves the plunger moves in pressure gets developed inside it and uh, the pressure moves towards the uh, brake piston housing which makes the brake piston to move resulting in the braking so let's see uh, how uh, it actually works we have master cylinder over here so uh, this is how it's here let's open it up and this portion let's open it up here we have the plunger and inside the plunger we can see there's a spring and there's a valve stem and the end of it we have a piston so this is the plunger actually this plunger as it moves when the pedal uh, is uh, pressurized this plunger moves in and which uh, exert this spring this spring moves towards uh, the end of the bore and uh, a pressure is created over here and as a result of that uh, this area the reservoir uh, opening or the port gets closed and pressure build up over here and as the plunger further moves this pressure uh, moves outside or uh, is directed towards the brake piston housing through uh, this port and resulting in uh, the brake or that's how the brake is happening with the help of a master cylinder so i hope you understand the working of the master cylinder and you can see the both port this is the port connected towards the reservoir and this is the port which is connected towards the brake piston housing so that's simply how a master cylinder works i hope you understand uh, for uh, more videos technical videos you can visit my uh, blog uh, in the description page the link is given or you can watch other videos in my youtube channel thank you